our minds are conditioned, like the computer is conditioned, programmed. So you are the result of years of propaganda, years of tradition, which is the activity of thought. Would you accept that? Of course. You. And one naturally says the reason why we are in such a mess is not simply that we have wrong systems for doing things, whether they be technological, political or religious, but we have the wrong people because we are all in various ways self-seeking, lacking in wisdom, lacking in courage, afraid of death, afraid of pain, unwilling really to cooperate with others, unwilling to be open to others. And we all think that's too bad. It's me that's wrong. And if only I could be the right person to change myself so that I will be a more creative and cooperative member of the human race. I would like to improve. You start by watching all your thoughts so that you begin to build up a sense of separation between the watcher and what is watched. You remain the witness, impassively, impartially, suspending judgment and watching it all go on. That seems to be something like progress. At least you're taking an objective view of what is going on. You are beginning to be in a position to control it, but just wait a minute. Who is this self behind the self, the watching self? Can you watch that one? It's interesting if you do. So in the same way, we find that the watching self or the observing self behind all our thoughts and feelings is itself a thought. And there, immediately, we have a vicious circle. Let's suppose that you were able, every night, to dream any dream you wanted to dream. And you would, naturally, as you began on this adventure of dreams, you would fulfill all your wishes. You would have every kind of pleasure. And after several nights, you would say, well, that was pretty great. And then you would get more and more adventurous and you would make further and further out gambles as to what you would dream. And finally, you would dream where you are now. Seeing that there isn't really anything we can do to improve ourselves or to improve the world, if we realize that that is so, it gives us a breather in the course of which we may simply watch what is going on. Watch what happens. Nobody ever does this, you know. Nobody ever just watch. Watch what's happening. And watch what you are doing by way of reaction to it. Just watch it happen. Could we look at things in that way? Without, as it were, fixing labels and names and gradations and judgments on everything. But watch what happens. Watch what we do. Now, you see, if you do that, you do at least give yourself a chance. When you are in this way freed from busybodiness and being out to improve everything, your own nature will begin to take care of itself because you're not getting in the way of yourself all the time. You will begin to find out that the great things that you do are really happening.